Hey, what's up guys, Jakey here. Today we're gonna to be doing a little setup upgrade. So I'm gonna be changing out the desk on my setup here. As you guys know, this is my current setup. I have just an old desk from Ikea. I really don't even know what it's called, but it's just like a really old black desk. FlexiSpot has sent out their EN1 standing desk for me to review. The EN1 is currently retailing on Amazon for around $280 Canadian, which is right around $200 USD. So yeah, I'm gonna be switching out my desk with the FlexiSpot EN1 desk. Right here you can see I'm just measuring my current desk. It's around 55 inches long. So they have a lot of different size options as you can see on their Amazon page. You can choose a lot of different sizes depending on what your setup is like. So for me, I chose the 55 by 28 inch. And they have a lot of different color options as well. But yeah, I've always wanted a standing desk and standing desks are great, especially if you want to change up your sitting position and you want to just stand for a bit to improve your health. This is a great option to have. And also, obviously, everyone is different heights. So a standing desk lets you adjust your sitting position to where your ergonomics are going to be perfect. So the desk actually ships in two separate pieces. You're going to get the desktop and the legs shipped in different boxes. So this is right here, the desktop, and it actually arrived one day early, so I had to wait another day for the legs to arrive. But as you can see, this is the maple color right here, and it's actually really heavy. So it's a solid single piece of wood, which makes it more stable and also extremely rigid as well. So there's really no concerns for build quality or sturdiness of the desk. The packaging is also really good. As you can see, it comes with these corner protectors just to make sure that the desk comes undamaged. It also just has a lot of styrofoam around it as well for extra padding. So the EN1 is actually FlexiSpot's base model. FlexiSpot actually makes several different standing desks with other different features, such as either a higher load capacity or other desks that have power strips or cable management channels. And with the more expensive models, the motor might be a little bit more fast. But honestly, the base model is really all you need if you just want a basic standing desk. So this is the box for the legs of the desk and it comes with the user manual as well as everything you need to put together the desk itself. I assembled it on my own, but I do recommend you have somebody helping you, especially for flipping the table but it was relatively easy to do. It took me around an hour to fully assemble. And yeah, the instructions are super straightforward and it comes with everything you would need to assemble it other than a power drill, but I do recommend having a power drill. So yeah, this right here is the motor and of course the touchpad to control all of the settings, which I will go over later on in the video on how to save pre-configured heights for the desk. So since this desk doesn't have any cable management channels, I'm gonna use my own that I used on my old desk. These are basically little clips that you can buy off Amazon. I'll leave them linked in the description below if you want to pick them up for yourselves. But you basically just stick them on with adhesive and then you can just run all of your cables through these little clips. And it helps a lot with managing your cables. But yeah guys, this is what the setup looks like now with the new standing desk. I haven't adjusted any of the height settings, but this is what it looks like just with everything on it. And yeah, if you look down here, cable management definitely could be better, but I really did all I could. Maybe I'll find a way to improve it in the future. But yeah, one thing you want to make sure is that you have enough slack for the cables to actually go up high enough. If you are going to be using this desk in a standing position, you do want to make sure that your cables aren't twist tied together to where they're too short to extend. So that's one thing you do want to look out for. So yeah, really solid desk here by FlexiSpot. One thing to note for this desk is that the minimum height is 28.1 inches, as you can see here, and the maximum height is around 46.5 inches which is actually a little bit unfortunate because I was hoping it would be a little bit shorter than my old desk, but it's really not a big deal. As you can see here, this is what the desk looks like being operated. So on the very left, you have your LCD screen showing you how high the desk is, and then you have your up, down arrow keys to adjust the height, and then you have your standing and sitting preset buttons, as well as three and four, which you can adjust to whatever you like. So in order to save the profiles, it's actually really easy. All you need to do is just hold down on whichever profile you want to save it to and it will save to that profile so for example if i wanted to set it to 30 inches all i would do is press the up arrow key or down arrow key until it reaches 30 inches and then hold down whichever profile i want to save it to for around three seconds and once it flashes on the lcd screen then you know that it is saved onto the desk in terms of the motor noise it's actually pretty quiet not super loud i'll let you guys take a listen for yourself so that you guys can hear what the motor sounds like
But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That was my review of the FlexiSpot EN1 standing desk. Really solid standing desk, super sturdy, and really no complaints with the motor either. And if you guys are in the market for a budget standing desk that works really well, this is definitely one to take a look at. But that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and shout out to FlexiSpot once again for sending this out for review. But that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.